Welcome back, everybody, to the Desmond Payne Road to the Show here on MLB The Show 16. Continuing on with Desmond Payne's rookie season, we begin by seeing that his rookie counterpart here on the Rangers has been traded. I tried to create a little bit of a rivalry between these two rookie center fielders, and obviously they've traded Pruitt, who was struggling, so Payne is here. He's been pretty promising, and here in his first at-bat against the Red Sox, he's going down left field line, and after no extra base hits last episode, it took all but one pitch for Desmond Payne to get an extra base hit here in episode 25. That was his fifth career double. And then with two outs, here's a drive going deep to right. Back goes the right fielder, all the way to the track as he turns around to make the catch, and Payne is left stranded. Let's pick things up in the outfield. Payne playing some left field here in the first inning. He goes back to the track near the green monster, but this one will stay in the park, and Payne makes the catch. Now we're going to jump all the way to the ninth inning. It's been all Boston in this game, 7 to nothing. Texas down to their final out as Desmond Payne just tries to make something happen here in the stat column. And he puts one in the air deep to center. And that is going to be playable. And the game is over. The Texas Rangers drop this first game of the episode. They are obviously in last place in the AL West. And we're waiting to see if they can turn things around as the All-Star break approaches. But this was a three-hit shutout by Justin Masterson. And one of those hits was the very first pitch. So let's go to the next game. Can things change here as Payne moves over to right field? Here's a hit as he ranges to his right, and that goes off his glove, it looked like. Didn't have the cleanest reaction there, but should have definitely been caught. Those fielding errors were an issue at AAA, and they somewhat arose here in the majors. So 1-0 Boston as we keep this early on in the game. Second inning of work, and here is Payne going to left field once again. He likes those opposite field hits as a lefty hitter. And he reaches base again. He eventually moves over to second. Here's a ground ball. Stop on the first baseman. He doesn't feel it cleanly, but recovers to get the out at first. I didn't think that was out, but there was no arguing, no challenge. 0-2 count to the next hitter, and the inning is over. Payne and another hitter were left stranded in scoring position. In the fifth inning, still 1-0 Boston. And here is Payne getting a chance to make another grab out in right field. And he's able to back up and haul in that catch cleanly. And we'll see him hit again. 1-0 in the sixth inning, two down. And here is Payne to right field. That gets down. Two on and two out here for Texas. As Payne has another hit as a left-handed hitter, his preferred side of the plate. But there is more work to do to get some runs. Ground ball to short. It's going to be a close play, and the runner is safe. So the bases are now loaded for Texas for Julio Franco, who's delivered some big hits in the past couple episodes. With two strikes, he lifts one to right. Right fielder goes back to the track, and he makes the catch to end the scoring threat. But later on in the game, Texas would manage to tie this up, but the Red Sox have a chance to win it here in the ninth. Runner at second, here's a base hit. They're going for the win. Payne comes up throwing. There it is. And Mookie Betts is thrown out at home. The game will continue. It's an outfield assist for Desmond Payne. His arm's not that strong. It's not even that accurate. But he's come up with a couple big throws in his young career. And here's the latest. He does a little front flip there for dramatic effect. The throw is on target. And it wasn't even that close. Great job there by Payne. Let's see if the Texas Rangers can take this one in extras. 13th inning, it's Payne's sixth plate appearance. Nobody down, and here is a fly ball hit to right. Payne a little too far underneath it, and he is out. Despite extending the game, the Rangers could not win it as the Red Sox take this one 4-2. to two. Payne goes 2 for 6 with an outfield assist, and now we'll go look to up a couple ratings. Arm strength is getting close to the 80s, so we're almost in a good spot there. Accuracy is at 70, and let's just continue on with the games here. A 6-game hitting streak for Payne. He's 7 for 21 in this stretch. Here against the Minnesota Twins, he sat on the curveball and pops it up. Come on, Desmond. You saw it. It was perfect location for you to do something with it. Twins up 2-0 later in the game as Hughes finds the inside corner, making it 3-1. But misses his zone here, and that's going to put Payne on first base. 
You know, once he reaches first, he wants to get in scoring position. He takes off for second and steals it rather easily. That is his 11th stolen base. I think he's been caught stealing maybe three times. Then an 0-2 count. Here's a dribbler to third. And Plouffe recovers to make the throw. And the Rangers, again, cannot add any runs. We'll take this ahead to the sixth inning. Still scoreless. The Rangers are anyway. And Payne walks again. So he's doing what he has to do. He's been reaching base. But where are the runs? Two in scoring position. 0-2 count and a pop-up. Look at Joe Maurer get out there. And he's going to make the play in shallow right to end another Rangers scoring threat. You need to score some runs. Runners at the corner, seventh inning here, two down for Payne. And now he hits one right at the shortstop, and the flip is at second to end the inning. Very disappointing offense lately for Texas as they are held scoreless in this one. 4 nothing win for the Twins. Payne's hitting streak is also snapped when he reached base twice in that game. Into the next game against the Twins. Payne going to left field as he likes to do. And this is caught back near the track. But as you saw, the Rangers actually scored a run already. And they tacked on another 3-2 in the fourth inning. As Payne hits one to short. There's the wheels down first baseline. And he's there easily. A lot of these hits are going the other way. Payne likes to sit back and just hit the ball the other way. Here he is stealing again. His 12th steal in his rookie season. Nobody down. They have to help Payne tie the game here. This is a hit lifted deep to right. Way back. And caught near the wall. Come on. I was sure that'd be a home run. But still Payne prepared to tag up and make his way to third. Good hit there by Chu. They still got to get him in though. And there's a base hit that'll do it as the Rangers tie it up at three. Finally, they bring Payne around. It took forever though. Bottom nine, tied up, 0-2 count as Payne keeps this at-bat going. But he's got to battle back. And there's another foul on the two-seam fastball. We'll try this again. Fastball taken away. Now the sixth pitch of the at-bat. And Payne swings and misses at the four-seamer. And he's retired. But the Rangers, they do win this game despite that. A 4-3 win against the Twins as Payne has one hit and one run. So can the Rangers take this series from the Twins? They have you Darvish on the mound this time around. That should bode well for them. Payne ahead with a 2-0 count and pulls one to first base. Maurer with the play and Payne is retired. We'll jump ahead and the score is still scoreless. Bottom four, 0-2 count, two down. And there's a pitch inside from Cahill. One and two. And again inside, this one hits Payne. He was hit three times last episode, and I guess we're going back to that. And it's basically a rule. Once you get hit, you got to steal second if you have the speed. But a fly out there ends the inning. We're going to go to the seventh. Still scoreless. Quite the pitcher's duel we have here as Payne takes the change up off the plate. The count is even at two and two. And here's a hit from Payne going to left center field. But another one that just hangs up in the air, and it's another lazy fly out. This game remains scoreless until the Rangers finally get some runs later and they win two to nothing. Just two at-bats in this one as Payne walked and was hit again. And after a handful of starts, he's coming off the bench again. We're past the all-star break now. Pinch running here, Desmond Payne steals second with an okay jump, not bad. But no all-star festivities for Desmond Payne of any sort. We're just in the second half of the season now. Down one here in the eighth inning. Elvis Andrews hits one past first base, but the second baseman recovers, but the throw's not in time. Payne ties the game, and we're going to see him now in the ninth inning. Two to two with two down, and they intentionally walk him. Payne is flattered. We've yet to see this. An intentional walk puts Payne on first base as he continues to rack up the walks this year. He's had quite a few of them. John Ryan Murphy up now, 14 ribbies, four home runs. 0-2 count, two down. And he lifts one to right field, rather lazy. And that is it for the inning. That would do it for Payne in this game as the Rangers end up defeating the Chicago Cubs 3-2. And now we're going to see some more upgrading for Payne. He's increased the points. And as we see these things declining, we're going to address those. And let's look at power now. Payne keeps wanting to be this power hitter that hits a lot of fly balls, 
So let's just try to make them fly a little bit further, getting the powers toward 50. And the Rangers trade another outfielder. Alejandro Deaza is the second outfielder to be traded this episode. Payne's still safe, though. You're not going to trade your rising superstar, are you? I mean, that's what the, the thing says. Rising superstar. I expect Payne is safe, but you never know in Road to the Shell. Pinch hitting here against the Angels. Payne hits one to first. And there's an easy play made by Albert Pujols. The pain entered this game to play some catcher, it looks like. We've seen this two or three times now. And he's again in there with Albert Pujols hitting. But look at the pickoff attempt. Eric Ibar is picked off. And now we're going to go and see Payne catching as Mike Trout is up. Down one, Trout pops it up. Well done. And that play is made there outside of the dirt. And we're going to go to the ninth inning. Two down, a man on first, and Payne lifts one into left center field. Solid hit there. I like that contact. Not the fly ball so much, but Payne reaches base again. And with a 2-2 count, here is a hit that will barely get out of the infield, and it is caught. The Rangers end up winning this game 2-1. Payne enters to play a little bit of catcher, goes one for two. And we're going to continue on against the... Los Angeles Angels here. The Rangers are now 43 and 51. And if they can take the series here, it'll be a nice step toward trying to get them closer to 500. And we'll see where they can go from there, as that slider was pretty filthy. And Payne had some words exchanged there with the ump. Fifth inning in this scoreless contest. There's Payne hitting a single up the middle, showing he can do something besides get hits to opposite field. And you know he wants to take off again. But well, there's a base hit to go along with it. And Payne rounds second. The aggressive move pays off as he's safe at third. Close play. But as long as you're safe, it's all right. Runners at the corners. And another base hit that will bring in Desmond Payne. You got to be aggressive there on the base paths. That's Payne's game. Let's go to the eighth inning. Two nothing Texas. Two in scoring position. And they're going to intentionally walk Desmond Payne yet again. He's not getting the RBIs, and this isn't helping. But it loads the bases, and here's Walter Rodriguez with two down. 3-0 count, and they walk him on four pitches to make it 3-0 Texas. And we're going to continue on. Full count, and a base hit. One run scores, and Payne comes around as well. Texas increases their lead to 5-0, and they win this game, shutting out Los Angeles as they only had four hits. Nice job by Texas as they're going to win that series against Los Angeles. Still a long way to go, however, but a lot of season left. We're just over the halfway point. Here is a look at the upcoming series as we'll close out this series against the Angels and then have a couple against Kansas City with Oakland sandwiched between the two. And we are currently seven games below 500, 11 and a half back of the Angels in first place. And we'll see if the Rangers can start getting their offense more consistent. But thank you all for watching this episode of the Desmond Payne Road to the Show. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave any feedback you have down below and hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day.